Devils hosting the Sabres, and the Sabres are plus 158 on the money line. The Devils are minus 192. Over under, six and a half goals. The Sabres getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 142, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one goal, you win. And the Devils laying a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 118. Uh, plus 118, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by two goals. It's supposed to be Comrie versus Vanacek, but neither of the goaltenders have been confirmed for tomorrow's game. Thank you for everyone who has joined the Discord and who continues to join the Discord. If you've not done so yet, go to my website, rawsportstalk.com. Click on the membership tab. It is a paid membership, but it will give you access to my best bets. Head-to-head, the home team's on a two-game winning streak. The road team is 6-4 and four in their last 10 meetings against each other. The Devils are 7-3 and three against the Sabres in their last 10 games against each other. The favorite is 7-3 and three on the money line. The underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is 7-3. and three. There have been 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 one-goal games in their last 10 meetings. The over has hit in their last two games. The over is 7-3. and three, And the over at 6.5 goals is also seven and three they played each other three times last year the devils took two out of three they won the first one in buffalo three to one the sabers won the next one five to four in buffalo and then the devils won the next one six to two in new jersey i'll take the devils with the money line i'll take the devils laying the goals i'll go over in this one buffalo's goaltending has been spotty and the devils have looked good where they can put up they can put up goals, so we'll see how this one turns out. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.